Hi, everybody. I'm glad you guys could join us today. Um, I'm Joe Kinneman, and my partner is Griffin, and we are Salisbury University students who are majoring in physical education. Our unit that we are doing is jumping and landing, and this is the third lesson out of our unit. So let's get started. So what you will need today is a jump rope or rope, four cones or four stuffed animals or four water bottles. If you don't have cones, any of those things will work. You just need something to mark some spots so that you can jump to those items. You need a balloon, a toothbrush and toothpaste. So what we're doing today is we're doing animal movements. We're jumping and landing. We're jumping and landing using combinations of one foot, two feet and alternating feet. And at the end, we will review jumping and landing. So our instant activity today is animal movements. The teacher will show students animal pictures and say the names of the animals and dem demonstrate how the animal moves. The student will have a minute to move like the animal they see and hear. So the first animal is a butterfly. Here's how the butterfly moves. So the first animal we're going to move like is a butterfly. We're going to put our hands on our hips and we're going to move our arms back and forth. Then we're going to move so like we're flying like a butterfly. You have a minute to move like a butterfly. Go. of a kangaroo and you're going to move like a kangaroo and here is a demonstration of how a kangaroo moves. Now you have a minute to move like a kangaroo. Go. Animal we're going to do is a penguin. Here's a picture of a penguin. So penguins move by waddling and here is a demonstration of how the penguin moves. Now you have 
have a minute to waddle like a penguin. Go. going to move like a frog. Here's a picture of a frog and let's see a demo on how a frog moves. Now you have a minute to Hop like a frog. Go. Oops, sorry. There's the timer. like is a horse and this is a picture of a horse and let's see a demonstration on how a horse moves. Now you have a minute to gallop like a horse. Go. with the warm-up or the instant activity sorry I think we'll move on to our next slide 
So what we're learning today, jumping and landing in the horizontal and vertical planes using mature pattern combined with movements with skills as directed by the teacher. So our healthy activity today is brushing your teeth. The teacher will go over the steps on how to brush your teeth and then show a demonstration of brushing your teeth. Students will then have two minutes to brush their teeth. So the first step is to wet your toothbrush. The second step is to apply toothpaste to your toothbrush. The third step is to brush the top sides and bottom of your teeth and your tongue. Fourth step is to rinse your mouth. Fifth step is to spit. Don't swallow, spit it out in the sink. Sixth step is to turn off the water. Seven step, put your toothbrush away and don't forget to floss your teeth. Here's a demonstration on how to brush your teeth. All right, I'm going to demonstrate how to brush your teeth. So the first thing you're going to need is a toothbrush, you need a sink, something that you can get water in, and you'll need toothpaste. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the water, wet our toothbrush, some toothpaste. You only need about a pea size on your toothbrush. And then we're gonna go in our mouth and brush in small little circles or that are up top. Then go do our then you're gonna do your bottom teeth and then the backs of your teeth, your tongue. And we just want to do small little circles the whole time we're brushing our teeth. We want to brush our teeth for two minutes so you can sing a song or set a timer or whatever works for you. After you're done brushing your teeth, you want to spit out all the toothpaste in your sink. Get a cup of water, put some water in your mouth. Push water around your mouth, spit it out. When you're done, you're going to turn the water off. Get some floss, pull it out, and then you're going to floss in between each one of your teeth. And that's how you brush your teeth. Now you have two minutes to go in your bathroom or, or wherever you brush your teeth and practice brushing your teeth. Go.
right, time's up. Everybody should have nice clean teeth and nice smelling breath. Let's move to our warm up. So keeping a balloon in the air using our bodies. Teacher will demonstrate how to use five different body parts to keep the balloon from falling on the ground. Students will have a minute for each body part to keep the balloon from falling on the ground. So the first part of the body that you're gonna use is your hands. Here's a demonstration of how it will look. Now you have a minute to just use your hands to keep the balloon in the air without it touching the ground. Go. Body parts will be using your elbows. Here's a demonstration. Now we're going to use our elbows. Get the balloon. We'll try to keep the balloon in the air. We're just using our elbows. Now you have a minute to practice. Keeping the balloon in the air with just using your elbows. Go. going to use is our knees. Here's a demonstration of how that's going to look. Now we're going to use our knees to hit the balloon. Keep the balloon in the air without touching the ground. Now you have a minute to practice keeping the balloon in the air with just your knees. Go.
next body part we're going to use is our feet. So let's see a demonstration of how to keep the balloon in the air just using our feet. Now we're going to use our feet to put the balloon in. Now you have a minute to practice keeping the balloon in the air just using your feet. Go. The next body part that we're going to use to keep the balloon in the air is our head. Here's a demonstration of how it looks to use your head to keep the balloon in the air. Now we're going to use our head to put the balloon to keep it in the air. And I like that. Now you have a minute to use your head to keep the balloon in the air without touching the ground. Go. to the next task. So for our first activity, we are going to jump and land while moving up and down the rope on one foot. The teacher will demonstrate how to jump and land moving up and down the rope on one foot using proper form of hips, knees, and ankles bent, arms loaded, arms moving forward, keeping balance. Then students will practice jumping and landing while moving up and down the rope on one foot using proper perform seeing how many times they can move up and down the rope in a minute. Here's a demonstration of how the task looks. Make a line because we are going to jump going up the rope and back down the rope on one foot. So we're going to use the same cues before. Hips, knees, and ankle set. And we are going to have our hands back and load it so that they move forward and then we're going to land balanced on the left foot. This is how it should look. We're 
we go up, back, and behind, we can do it in a minute. We have a minute to see how many one landing, one, one foot jumps we can do up and down the rope. Go. down the rope on two feet. The teacher will demonstrate how to jump and, and move up and down the rope using two feet, using proper form of the hips, knees, ankles bent, arms loaded, arms moving forward, keeping balance. Students will practice jumping and landing while moving up and down the rope on two feet using proper form, seeing how many times they can move up and down the rope. Here's a demonstration of how it should look. Next thing we're going to do is go up the rope and back the rope, doing the same thing that we just did, but this time we're going to jump off of two feet and land on two feet. Same cues, hips, knees, and ankles bent, arms loaded, move forward, and keep our balance. And we're going to go up and down, see how many we can do in a minute. So we have a minute to go up and down the rope with jumping off of two feet. Go. jump rope alternating feet. The teacher will demonstrate how to jump and land moving up and down the jump rope. Alternating feet using proper forms of the hips, knees, and ankles bent, arms loaded, arms moving forward, and keeping balance. Students will practice jumping and landing while moving up and down the jump rope, alternating feet using proper forms, seeing how many times they can jump rope, in, move up and down the rope in a minute. Here's a demonstration. and landing on one foot using the same cues, hips, knees, and ankles back, and keeping our balance. 
it should look like this. You have a minute to practice going up and down the road, alternating feet. Go. Jumping and landing, moving, moving forward and back over the jump rope on one foot. The teacher will demonstrate how to jump and land, moving forward and back over a jump rope on one foot using proper form, hips, knees, ankles bent, arms loaded, arms moving forward, keeping balance. Students will practice jumping and moving forward and back over a jump rope on one foot using proper form, seeing how many times so they can jump forward and back in a minute. Here's a demonstration of what you're going to do. We're going to move to back two, which is jumping over the rope, but going forward and back. First, going off of one foot. These are the same hips, knees, and ankles set, arms back. Move arms forward and keep your balance. <laughs> You're going to go forward and back. See how many times you can do that in a minute. You have a minute. Let's go. demonstrate how to jump and move forward and back over the jump rope on two feet using proper form hips knees ankles bent arms loaded arms moving forward keeping balance a student will practice jumping and landing moving forward and back over the jump rope on two feet using proper form seeing how many times they can jump forward and back in a minute here's how it should look jumping forward and back at this time off of two Thank you, sit, knee ankle back, arms loaded, move forward, keeping our balance. So we're gonna go forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. We're 
we're going to do that. We're going to go forward and back for a minute. See how many we can do. to jump and land, moving forward and back over the jump rope, alternating feet. The teacher will demonstrate how to jump and land, moving forward and back over the jump rope, alternating feet using proper form, hips, knees, ankles bent, arms loaded, arms moving forward and keeping balance. Students will practice jumping and landing, moving forward and back over a jump rope, alternating feet using proper form, seeing how many times they can jump forward and back in a minute. Here's how it should look. Right now we're going to alternate feet, going forward and back over the rope. Same cues, hips, knees, ankles bent, arms loaded, moving forward, keeping our balance. So it should look. How many to forwards and backs we can do in a minute? Here's your minute. Go. is jumping and landing, moving from cone to cone in a zigzag pattern off of two feet. Teacher will demonstrate how to jump and land from cone to cone in a zigzag pattern on two feet using proper form, hips, knees, ankles bent, arms loaded, arms moving forward and keeping balanced. Then students will practice jumping and landing from cone to cone in a zigzag pattern on two feet using proper form, seeing how many times they can move from cone to cone in a zigzag pattern in a minute. This is how it should look. Cone to cone to cone to cone and then back through. Same cues as before. Hips, knees, ankles bent. Arms loaded. Moving forward, keeping our balance. Yes.
So when you're setting up your cones or whatever you're using to make a zigzag pattern, you want to set them up not too, too far apart where you feel you can jump using the proper form accurately and maybe have them really close to get, you know, not too far apart at first. And then if it's really easy and you're, you can switch them and make them a little further out because a minute is plenty of time to, to uh, change it up if you need to. So here's your minute, go. will demonstrate how to jump and land from cone to cone in a zigzag pattern, alternating feet using proper form, hips, knees, ankles bent, arms loaded, arms moving forward and keeping balance. Students will practice jumping and landing from cone to cone in a zigzag pattern, alternating feet using proper form, seeing how many times they can move from cone to cone in a zigzag pattern in a minute. This is how it should look. Okay, the next thing we're going to do same thing, zigzagging, cone to cone. But this time we're alternating feet. Same, feet to the floor, hips, knees, ankles bent, arms loaded, moving forward, keeping our balance. Got a minute, go. We're going to do a combination activity now, jumping and landing using patterns. Uh, the teacher will demonstrate how to jump and land in patterns like in a game of hopscotch. Teacher will start with jumping and landing on one foot, then jumping and landing on two feet, then jumping and landing on one foot, and continue with the pattern. The students will practice jumping and landing in patterns for a minute. This is how it should look. jumping off one foot and continuing to do that. Kind of like hopscotch, but since we don't have a hopscotch board, we're going to pretend it's in front of us. Same cues as before, hips, knees, ankles bent, 
A minute to jump in a pattern, go. So we learned how to jump and land in the vertical and horizontal plane using direction, like moving up and down the rope or forward and back, or using a combination of one foot, two feet, alternating feet. So um, for your assessment, to, um, you're going to go, um, I'm going to get, the teacher's going to observe and give you feedback on Flipgrid and you're going to create your own pattern, your own pattern of jumping kind of like what we did at the end. You can do one foot, two feet, one feet, alternating feet, but you need to show all three kinds of different kinds of jumping, jumping off one foot, jumping off two feet, and alternating feet. Um, you're going to record it and and um, put it on Flipgrid so that I can observe it and looking forward to seeing your videos and give you some feedback on how well you did it. So, so if your parents log on to, or go on to uh, Flipgrid, they can scan the QR code with their phone and it'll take you right to the assessment that you need to do for, for this lesson. So what you're gonna need next class is just a jump rope or rope if you don't have a jump rope. Great job today. I think you all, Work, working very hard, and I am looking forward to seeing your videos. Have a good day.